It's Sunday afternoon. We are on our way to Wales and of course we've got the Mustang. Snowdonia in North Wales is one of those places that I always keep returning to for the last 10 to 15 years. It's just a nice place to get away, recharge and enjoy some of the simpler things in life. Since I've had the Mustang I've always been longing to take the car there and really enjoy the open roads. So in October I did exactly that. We grabbed the car, left London and headed west for North Wales. Now I was a little bit worried the first time bringing the Mustang to this farm if it was going to be able to handle the farm track heading down to the barn but it was absolutely fine. Your brother's been before hasn't he? He's been before yeah. yeah. It turned out the problem was not going to be the Mustang but the door that for some reason was jammed. It's got a knack to it. There it is. What's happening with this door then? Right, uh, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Have <laughs> we met before? Have we? Yeah, in the car park. You delivered something at Gatwick Airport? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. you look different without the bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. The legend, Thomas the farmer, went over to get some tools to get this door opened up. That's how you get about. Yeah, that's how we get yeah. about. Better than this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there we go. So AD is currently living in the woods. His full-time job is pretty much survivalist, gnarly outdoorsman. So it's quite handy having him here. Cheers, boy. Yeah, nice one. It's a good trip. Cheers. But they have all the weights, all the, all the shit, and they just look ridiculous, you know. Going up Cribgock, which is probably out of all the tourist tracks of Snowdon, definitely the most challenging. But uh, we're going to go take it easy and see how far we can get. And you're going to tell us if you feel uncomfortable and you want to turn around, aren't you, AD? Yeah, don't worry about me. Powerhouse. So with AD having not done anything like this before, we had to be super careful that everything was within his ability and we were pushing his comfort zone but in a safe way and always had the option to retreat if necessary. Look at you mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. So we've reached the first proper scramble proper grade one section of the route. This will be the most challenging bit for AD. I reckon if he makes it up this, then we're good for the day. So we've been here a few minutes and uh, there doesn't seem to be much progress, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I waited at the top of this section whilst Mickey helped AD to tackle it, but after a while it was obvious that we weren't really getting anywhere. I think uh, AD found it a bit too much, so um, we're going to call this a day on this route and try something else. The sun is starting to make an appearance. Mate, fucking well done. Yeah. Well done for fucking giving it a go, man. It's all good, man. It happens. It's, it's all about finding your limit, and now we'll try an easier route. Oh. And then we'll build it up, and we're going to come back in fucking two years' time, and we'll get up there. Right, fucking well done. <laughs> so after turning around on Crib Gok, I was still keen to end the day on a high, especially for AD. He was a little bit gutted about having to turn around. 
So we hit up the pig track and made our way up to the summit of Snowdon. only about half an hour from the summit. getting to the summit the long way around we were very glad to see the cafe was open I've rarely seen it open myself so it was nice to have a treat a hot chocolate with the view before heading down just at the bottom now I think I can honestly say that's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> After a couple of well-deserved beers, we just relaxed by the campfire that night. And the next day we had nothing planned except to enjoy the open roads and the Mustang. This is how much it's cost us to fuck around in the mountains. Fuck it now. On the way home, Mickey said we should hit up some of these roads that he knows. They're sort of off the beaten track, really nice open roads. This was probably the most enjoyable drive I have ever had. And for me, this is exactly why I bought a Ford Mustang. Oh, it's 
right now. Mickey's car had had enough of trying to keep up with the Mustang and he'd lost all his coolant and he was overheating. He needs to cool down. Fucking hell. That was epic. Fucking good driving, man. <laughs> Kept us alive. <laughs> so, if anyone in the comments has a Volkswagen Audi 2 litre TDI 2015 onwards, I think it's the same engine as the GTD engine. Why does this coolant piss out when he drives it hard? Since recording this vlog, we found out Mickey's car had some sort of gasket failure. He had his entire engine rebuilt and now it's good as gold. After that, we pretty much headed home and what an amazing experience it was to have the Mustang on the open roads in the dry in Wales. What an amazing trip.